30-year-old pregnant female status pulled a tonic clonic seizure at a restaurant 30 minutes ago. Vital signs stable, heart rate 88, BP 120 over 74. Oxygen saturation 100% on a non-rebreather. One liter normal ceiling okay. running wide open. Patient remains post ictal. Let's get her on a monitor, draw all the labs, and I need an EKG stat. Oh, call her OB now. Oh, sir! I'm sorry. You have to wait here. So sorry, Terry, everyone. Well, Adam, it was you who called this little gathering, was it not? I trust you both have met our esteemed head of neurology. Well, Dr. Spiegelman, I think you didn't bring in this busy team of doctors to celebrate my birthday. I particularly know this because my birthday isn't for another three months. And I doubt very much I won a prize for being your one millionth patient. That's not it, is it? <laughs> so why don't you tell me why we're all here? The MRI shows a glioblastoma multiform. Simply put, it's an aggressively malignant tumor of the brain. In almost any other situation, I'd simply recommend immediate intensive treatment to remove the growth. But given your circumstances, the next step is anything but simple, is it? Mom, Dad, you need to get to the Overbrook Hospital as soon as you get this. Call me. So, options. Is it possible to deliver the baby, a C-section or whatever, right, and then start treatment or surgery or whatever we have to do? Lee. Unfortunately, most infants delivered before the 24th week and or weighing less than two pounds have little to no chance of surviving outside the mother's womb. And Terry, having just passed her 21st week. Almost 22. And the baby weighing barely a pound, she just really isn't a candidate for an emergency C-section. If we proceed this way, we'll likely face some neonatal injury or worse. What if we delay the surgery a bit, just till Jake's a little bigger and stronger? Hi, Terry, Jonah. I'm Dr. Obermeyer, chief oncologist. I looked at your MRI along with several specialists on staff. Because of the aggressiveness of this particular malignancy, if we waited another three to four weeks to have a chance for the fetus, for Jake to mature, the cancer would then most likely become untreatable. I'm Kathy Landis. I'll be working with you and your family. Terry, how is she? The doctors are doing everything they can for her. One of them should be here to update you. I know how difficult this is for you, but if you wouldn't mind filling out this information, it'd be really helpful to us. Just take your time with it. I'll be back in a bit. Thank you. Nicholas! Oh. Hey! Let's hey. <laughs> move there, kiddo. <laughs> oh my god, I'm okay. so sorry. Oh, this kid never stopped running. Oh, Looks like you might have a future Olympic runner on your hand. This kid's gonna be the death of me. Okay, sweetie, we are going to have some adult honey. <laughs> Shall I? Uh, I think I'll stick to regular. Would you kindly give me some milk, madame? Certainly. Okay, wait a second, Terry. 
I, you're, t you're turning down a hot toddy. Right? What gives here? No. You? you? Of all people. <sighs> I know. <laughs> I mean, like, how? You know how, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do, baby. What she means is... All of us? I thought you were the last one who would ever... But Jonah wants to be a dad so much. And I figured, you know, how bad can this be? Okay, cheers. <laughs> to babies. <laughs> when you get this, could you please come down here? Thanks. Miss Landis. Please, Kathy. Kathy, I have the papers. Oh, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Now, I've been through your wife's file briefly, and I've spoken to her neurosurgeon. Now, there's no immediate need for surgery right now. However, Jonah, Dr. Spiegelman agrees that the threshold for treating your wife's cancer with any hope of a positive outcome is dwindling. 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 To complicate matters further, Terry has slipped into a coma. Now, the doctors feel this isn't necessarily a permanent situation, but a decision has to be made. Have you and Terry discussed what you might do if a situation like this arose? Oh, come on, Ragarm. I know you got more than that. Oh, now you've asked for it. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. You don't want no more of this. Yeah, just setting you up, big boy. I don't want the crowd to make too much of a monkey out of you. <laughs> Babe? I'm fine. I'm fine. You're not getting off that easy. Terry, please. You got to hit her in the batter's box. Come on, let's see what you're made of. <laughs> Rookie. <laughs> Terry. Mm. Terry? Oh. OK, maybe we need just a little time out. Sit down. Oh. Oh. I want to talk to you about the baby. You gotta promise me that no matter what happens, you make sure that Jake's far enough along before I get any treatment. Promise me. Call me when you get this. Please. Hello? Jonah, drop. What's going on? Terry collapsed while we're at dinner. She's unconscious. I don't know what's happening. Is anyone there with you? No, I, <laughs> I can't seem to get anyone on the damn phone. OK, Jonah, you have to try to calm down. Paging Pastor Mark. They think that I, Paging Pastor Mark. I might have to make the decision on Terry right now that I won't have another chance. It's out of your hands, Jonah. I drew up the papers myself, remember? Don't pull the legal card on me now. This is Terry we are talking about, God damn it. Wouldn't be the first time you broke one of those, now, would it? I'm gonna pretend I didn't just hear that. I didn't mean to. Yeah, well, you better pull yourself together, you know? That baby of yours needs someone looking out for him just as much as your wife. You think I don't know that? Man, it's Terry. Hey, Terry. I'm mad as hell at you, Rob. Lindsay didn't deserve that. Are we okay? He's in the kitchen. Hey, buddy. Terry's got the guest room all set up. Thanks. I uh, 
really appreciate it, especially considering Terry's not much of a fan right now. Mm. Mm hmm. What happened to you guys? It's complicated. I'll save it for the judge, counselor. Seriously, no judgments. You know that. But an intern? How's it come to that? Not everyone has what you do, Jonah. Can I at least find out what room she's in? I'm checking. Can I find out when I might be able to see her? I'm working on it, sir. Mom! Dad, how could I forgot the key ingredient? <laughs> oh, mm, doesn't it smell delicious? Yes, it's a fine meal you prepared for us all, son. Thanks. But the real credit goes to my beautiful sous chef. <laughs> I don't think taking a few groceries out of the bag garners a sous chef title. You know what? I think someone's afraid to let me in the kitchen for fear of being exposed as a hack. <laughs> <laughs> That a girl. <laughs> Put silk on a goat, and it's still a goat. A daddy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, traitor. Don't mind these two. It all looks wonderful. Thanks, Dottie. Please dig in, everyone. Oh, Dad, I need some bread. Thank you. What do you need? Sweetie, I can get it. She hasn't been able to keep anything down for the last day or two. The doctor said that uh, the headache and nausea are happening because the rapid growth of the tumor is causing increased pressure to the brain. The only way to decrease pressure is to treat the tumor. But the baby is still two weeks away from being able to live on his own. Terry won't even consider the possibility. Have faith, Jonah. As impossible a situation that this is, and as difficult as it is to comprehend the alternative, we must abide by it. How do I abide? It's our faith. Oh, the hell with our faith. Do you hear me? The hell with her for crying out loud. Patrick Daniel Doherty. Listen to me, woman, and listen to me good now. When the good Lord brought our Terry into this world, I was right beside you when we christened the child and right alongside you when we had her confirmed. Yes, we did this because it was our fate, but also so he would look down on our little girl and protect her. See that she made it through this crummy world of his. Well, listen to her now, Dorothy. Listen to her. Face down in front of a blasted toilet bowl, wasting away bit by bit. He will be there for Terry. You have to believe that. Well, I'm not having it. We don't know what he wants or doesn't want. All we can do is the best we can, Dorothy. That's all we can do. Oh. I should go check on her. You got all men. 
Easy there, wise guy. Be happy you got your mother's arm. My game was speed. Mom really was something, huh? Kid, she was something else. You remind me so much of her. Yeah? You know, I wish I'd have got to know her. Me too. <laughs> she sure had my number. <laughs> yeah? She had a way of getting me to do things. Didn't even want to do. <laughs> They'd be done before I even realized I was doing them. My bad. Maybe your mother was the only one in the family with an arm after all. Jonah. Oh, Kathy. I'm so sorry, Jonah. Dr. Spiegelman is with Terry right now. I'm afraid it's time. 